Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use um, the Dreamcast emulator on Batacera Linux. And this is a website for Batacera Linux wiki. It shows you how to use a Dreamcast emulator on Batacera. So it shows you what kind of formats can be used on the Dreamcast emulator or emulators. Uh, .cdi could be used, .cue could be used, .gdi, .chd, and .m3u can be used. And this is where you put the ROMs or games in the ROMs and Dreamcast folder. And I'll show you that later. Um, for the BIOS, you just need two BIOSes. It's called dc underscore boot dot bin dc underscore flash dot bin and you just put them into the bios folders and i'll show you that also you could make multi-disc games but i was unsuccessful in being able to do that because most uh, dreamcast games don't have just one bin file they got a number of them and they're all the same so this is an issue so i did manage to convert it to dot chd but when i put it into a dot m3u list for some reason it didn't work but let's begin so you need a something called a retro arc bios pack you could get it on this URL. I'll put that in the video descriptions below so you can get it for yourself. It's quite a large file, 393.8 megabytes. You could also get something called a CHD man file. So I'm going to download this. And you could uh, save a lot of space by converting it to .chd. And I'll show you that as well. So I have my BIOS pack here. And the Dreamcast files are right here, I think. DC. I'm gonna go to Batacero. On my Windows Explorer, go to Share, BIOS. And you would want to put your BIOS files, which is this and this, right in there. I already did. And it should work. With those two files, I put it into my Batacera BIOS folder. Um, there are two emulators for in Batacera Linux. There's one called Flycast Emulator, and there's another called Redream Emulator. The Redream does not require BIOS files or anything. I think it has it built into it. Has a different interface compared to uh, Dreamcast, Dreamcast Flyby. So that's all uh, I want to share with you. And um, as for the games, the games you just go to the ROMs folder in Batacera. I think it's under Dreamcast right here. Dreamcast files are a little bit different from .cue, .bin files. They got uh, multiple bin files. So trying to put that into a um, .m3u when you have multiple disks is different because each file would be in each folder. So this would be one folder for disk 1 and there would be another for disk 2 and it have this many files.
I converted the, these to .chd files. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, here. Some uh, files are very simple, just .cdi. You could put those into a .m3 list if you want. Let's get this file. I'll turn it into a .chd file. And you could run .chd files on a Dreamcast emulator. Yeah, I've gotten it. I've gotten it in. That's the thing. Now I have CD Man. I downloaded that. I want to put those files into that folder, like so. Which to list, I think. You go to list. Okay, so I get all these files here and put it into there. That's the .bat file. Open that up. So instead of typing in all the commands, it has a for loop for this. So it will convert all the files in that folder to a .chd file. That's what it means. There's nothing malicious about it or anything. Get all the files. Put it right there to convert it to a .chd file. This will take a couple of minutes or maybe 30 to 40 seconds, depending on your CPU. You see that ratio thing? That's how much uh, it's being compressed. A forty two percent compression rate compression ratio. So I'll calculate the compression ratio after it finishes and see how well it compressed the file. file here is let's see how much it is in terms of like size 1.1 gigabytes okay a pretty large file let's see how much I get it down to CHD man application so quite a large file as well 1.1 gigabytes so the dreamcast format wasn't really like a it wasn't really like a cd rom which uh, had a maximum capacity of 640 megabytes back in the day I think it was a bit more than a CD-ROM. It, it had its own different format, which enabled you to store about a gigabyte's worth of data on a, on a Sega Dreamcast uh, optical disc. Okay, it's almost done. 
So let's take a look. The file is a .chd. It's 585 megabytes divided by 1,100. So it's about 53% of a regular file, a regular Sega Dreamcast file, which is good. I could run that if I want. I'm going to go here, Sega GT. Delete all this. Put that file in there. And I should be able to run that file without a problem. So instead of having all this, I just got it to that. I think you could create a dot m3u file. I could compress Shenmue down using dot chd. Maybe we can. So let me create it. Let me show you how to create a dot m3u file. I'm not sure if dot cud would work, but uh, let's see. Press F12, get here, Control C, copy, F12, highlight that, Control C, Control V, F12, Control C, Control V, F12, Control V, Control V. Control C, Control V. All files. I'm going to go to D drive. Dot M three U. Save. Okay, got it here. Okay. Uh, one thing, the Redream emulator does not run .m3u files, okay? That would run under um, Flyby emulator. I think Flyby would work, but not... Not... Um, Redream, redream simply won't work for that. Let me delete that. I got everything I needed. So now I'm going to go back to Batacera. Okay, now I'm back on my Batacera. And I'm going to go into the Dreamcast. So before I went here, I restarted Batacera like this so uh, everything would be uh, registered so and show up here so Dreamcast is here I put all the games here and you could select the emulator that you like by pressing select and the emulator that I prefer is Redream I think that's the best emulator for the Dreamcast in my opinion. So I'm gonna run Shenmue. And I'm gonna show you a few things. You could press a uh, hot button and Y and you can get here to this menu. And you could switch games here if you want.
go back up, go to systems. This is a region, USA, English. You could change it to whatever you like. For me, it's English because I'm an English speaker. Broadcast NTSC or PAL, you could you could change it to whatever you want. VGA, okay. Um, video. That's what it came by default. Borderless full screen. I just left it there. You could change it if you want. This is my um, controller. You could change the settings here if you want. I'm not going to change anything because I don't need to. This is what's in my memory card. Library. You could add a, uh, another set of uh, games if you want. If you have a USB drive and you have a Dreamcast games, you could add it here via USB. And I could load this game right here if I wanted to. I'm going to go back. You could uh, also press the hot button and B. And get here. You could change the disc if you want. So let's say you have to change the disc for Shenmue. I think this is one, two, three, four. So let's say I put it at this four. I want to change it to disk one, two. Well, let's say I change it to disk two. Start here. asking me to put a disc one. I'm gonna press hot button B. Start the game if we want. Save states. That's here. Let's see. Hold on. What change disk does is it just starts the disk. I don't know if you could change the disk and continue it. I don't know if you can do that. Doesn't seem you can do that, no. I'm gonna go back. What's going on? Why is it fast forward? Okay. So I like this emulator because um, it has the best it has less glitches. Yeah. 
to press L1 and it fast forwards it for some reason. I don't know what L2 does. Three of them. Okay, let's fast forward. are menu okay go back hurry onto the cherry tree The simulator is good. It's very good in that it has the least amount of glitches. So let me go back. Press. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let me start a game. Another game. Let's start this. Seems like multi CD games are gonna have some problems running. Still running the Redream emulator. If you want to save something, you can here. I'm going to go back. Save states. Fast forwarding. Kind of like skip the scenes if you want to. I don't think the Redream emulator requires the BIOS or anything. But the other one does, for sure. How could anyone do this? I don't have a light gun, so I'm just using my controller to do this. Jeez. Analog left Jeez. stick and uh, A and B to shoot in the load. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna go back, get out. Let me try something else. Try Sega GT. I wanna see if this thing crashes or not, so I'm gonna play through an entire race and see if it runs stably or not. And I'm gonna run another emulator after this. And show you the difference. A little bit slow here for redream.
Okay, that's a hand brake. That's a regular brake. to be running pretty good.
Okay, it ran pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Gonna go out. Try. I'll try another game. Let's see. This time I'll use a different emulator. Use a Flycast. Show you the difference. Virtual Cop. So the menu, if you want to save, you can save here. You can select the slot. You have something called disk control. You can switch disks. But you have to make a .m3u file to do that. Here's the options, systems. I think this is for the BIOS. Region. Default is fine. Default. You can select whatever you want. Presume. Flycast is pretty good as well. I don't see any problem with it. Runs pretty good. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna try another game. Maybe try Virtual Fighter. Ready, go! 
Okay, this runs pretty good. So let me get out of here. Um, let me try another game. Let's try this. Silent scope. Hell. This is flyby again. I don't have a vibration pack.
Okay, that ran pretty good. I want to see what the difference would be if I ran it with Redream. There'd be a significant difference in terms of quality or not. Not much of a difference from a fly by or anything like that. Okay, there's really not much of a difference. And I'm gonna show you Shenmue in um, 
with the flyby and show you the difference. Whoops. I want that. I'm gonna get out of here. This time I'm running it with flyby. Save anything? No. Oh, I did. Yeah, there's a lot more texture problems with the uh, flyby. Not as good as Redream. Uh -huh. You can see Ryo's eyes. Dear son, I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei. My father? Texture's a little bit messed up. See? You see Ryo's face and it looks messed up. You didn't see that with um, Redream. This guy looks okay. He's not. The texture is not good. It's just Ryo's face. And his jacket also kind of messed up. out of here so that's the difference between read dream and flyby that's pretty much it if you have any questions or comments you can leave it in the comment section below and thanks for watching